Hey Pixels, in this week's video, we're going to design this trendy app homepage for the login screen UI we designed using the free signup screen UI kit in Adobe XD. Before we continue with the tutorial, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Bugherd for partnering with me on today's video. Bugherd is a visual feedback, annotation, and bug reporting tool for teams working on websites and projects. It's kind of like a sticky notes app for your websites that effortlessly makes website feedback clear and instant. It acts as the best way to collect, manage, and resolve any feedback or bugs teams have on whatever web projects they're working on. You can sign up for a 14-day free trial using the link in the description below to try out the product yourself. No payment up front and no credit card required. We know you'll love it. First, let's set up the artboard. We'll need to create an artboard with the following dimensions. We'll also enable the layout grid and set columns to 12, gutter width to 32, and margin to 98. Now that we've set up the artboard, we can start designing. First, we'll design the header and navigation for our website. Let's draw a dark blue borderless rectangle that's 1280 by 80 pixels. We need to add our logo to the left hand side of our header and our navigation to the right hand side. For the navigation menu, we'll add four links. Now that we've designed our header and navigation, we can move on to the hero section. Our hero section will contain a bold image of our app and a headline that captures users. First, draw a dark blue borderless rectangle that's 1280 by 797 pixels. We'll write our headline and text that summarizes what the app is all about on the left hand side. Below, we'll add our App Store badges from Google and Apple. To make sure that we have even spacing between each element, we can select all three elements, the headline, text, and app badges, and enable vertical stacks. We can then adjust the spacing between each element. In this case, I'll keep the spacing the same. Now on the right hand side, we'll add our app image and some decorative elements to give it some character. We'll draw two circles. The first will be 340 pixels and the second will be nested within the first at 248 pixels. Both circles will have no fill and a 10 pixel border. We'll color the outer ring light blue and the inner ring yellow.
Now we'll duplicate the circles and position them slightly below. We'll color the outer ring pink. Now we can add the image of our app in the center of the decorative rings. We've completed the design for our hero section. Now let's move on to designing the how it works section. For this section, we'll outline how the app works using icons and text. First, we'll draw a dark blue borderless rectangle that's 1280 by 586 pixels. We have a nice wavy pattern that we'll place on top of the rectangle. Next, we'll write the heading for the section. I decided to write a more descriptive heading, but feel free to simply write how it works as an alternative or to the point headline for the section. Now, we're going to design the how it works area using icons and text. First, we'll draw a pink borderless circle that's 88 pixels. Using the Icons for Design plugin in XD, we'll look for a user's icon that's around 36 pixels in size. I'll place the icon in the center of the circle. Below the icon, I'll write a heading and apply the H3 character style. Then, I'll add a description below and apply the body character style. Note that I'm keeping all the elements center aligned. I'll repeat this process two more times to outline two more steps in the app. We've completed the section. Now let's move on to the promo section. To design the layout for the promo section, we'll first draw a dark blue borderless rectangle that's 640 by 522 pixels on the left-hand side of the artboard.
We'll then duplicate the rectangle and place it to the right hand side and color it light blue. On top of the left rectangle, we'll write a heading and apply the H3 character style. We'll also add some descriptive text below and apply the body character style. On top of the right rectangle, we'll draw a circle that's 296 pixels. I have a photo that helps emphasize the first feature of the app, which in this case is making friends. I'll drag and drop the photo from my folder onto the shape. With the circle shape still selected, we'll hit Command or Control D on the keyboard and then color it light blue. We'll then change the blend mode to soft light so that the blue color nicely overlays the photo. We'll repeat this process two more times for the other two features of the app. The second feature will have a yellow color theme and the third will have a pink color theme. To design the email signup section, we'll first need to draw a dark blue borderless rectangle that's 1280 by 400 pixels. Now we'll write out a CTA headline, apply the H2 character style, and a blurb below applying the body character style. We need to design the email input field and sign up button. To do this, we'll draw a white borderless rectangle that has an 8 pixel border radius on the left top and bottom edges. We'll then draw a pink borderless rectangle with an 8 pixel border radius on the right top and bottom edges.
We'll then add the sign up text to the button, applying the button character style. We'll place this wavy pattern on top of the rectangle. Last but certainly not least, we'll design a really simple footer for our website. Let's draw a dark blue borderless rectangle that's 1280 by 128 pixels. On the right hand side, we'll write some copyright text applying the body character style. We'll duplicate the links from the top nav and place it on the left hand side of the footer. A final step that I like to do after I complete a website design is to clean it up, organize layers, and make sure it's ready for handoff for the development stage. That involves several steps, like making sure that spacing and or padding is consistent throughout each section in the design. I also organize the layers panel by giving relevant and clear names to layers, grouping images and elements, and marking any groups or layers for export. That way, when we share the design for development, all the necessary specs are clear. So there you have it! That's how you design this trendy app landing page in Adobe XD. Stay tuned for part 2 where we'll bring this design to life with some HTML and CSS. As always, be sure to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Subscribe to ExcelPixel for more great videos on design, code, and tech. I'll see you in the next video.